In this video, I'm going to show you how to make common table expressions in SQL. Now, a CTE is a defined name query in an SQL statement and can be used multiple times in a query and each statement can have multiple CTEs. They simplify complex queries, make SQL more readable and are less error prone than subqueries. To define a CTE, use the with clause, CTE name, as, and then use brackets to define a query and then you can select from that query. So let's go to BigQuery and see how this works in practice. I have a query here from BigQuery public data sets and I wanna change this into a common table expression because it's starting to get a slight bit complicated. So to change this into a CTE, what I wanna do is start with the keyword with and then the name of what this is gonna be called. So station data as, put that into brackets and then this is my station data data set and I can then select from that CTE. So I'm just gonna do a select star from station data and this will come out with my results as I can see down below of the query I've already run. And then we can go in and select specific things from this, group this, aggregate this, this acts like just another table and we can do whatever we want in the CTE there. So with the query, we're just selecting what's in the WIC clause. Where CTEs are super useful is joining data sets and different levels of aggregation. This is my bike rental data set on an each rental level, and this is a weather data set, and this is on a date level per station. So I've got all the stations here for a specific date for Austin, and I wanna see if that affects my bike rental count. So I've aggregated this up from the trip level into a date level and I'm going to create two CTEs and I'm going to join them together. So I've got a rental CTE, I put in a comma in there and then I can do a weather as, so I don't need the width statement again, I just need the comma and then I can select from either of these CTEs. I'm just doing a select star from weather here but what I can do is I can then join the weather into the rentals. So I can do a select a dot star, select b dot star and the B and A are just aliases. So I'm gonna say from weather and I'm gonna name that as A and then I'm gonna join the rentals and I'm gonna call that B and I'm gonna join it on the dates because my dates are at the same level. So, so the beauty of this is that you're taking something that could be quite complicated to write in one query, you're splitting that up and then you're joining the queries back together with a very simple select statement. So when I run this, I'm gonna get an aggregated of everything that's in my A data set, everything which is in my B data set, which is my weather and my rentals. So I've got my date, my temperature, my wind speed, the rain and drizzle, the max temp, and then that's joined with the rental count on the same day. I'm just gonna clean this up and just take in my temperature, rental count, and date clause in there and I can just look down the data set and analyze this to see if temperature is affecting rentals. CTEs are extremely useful. It's something I use every day at work in my job as a financial analyst. Hope you found this useful. Follow for more.